Hi there, Lee Griggs, Arnold Red Ring Specialist at Autodesk. And you want to cover how to create this retro vector landscape effect using combination of displacement and the tune shader, as well as the utility shader, color jitter, and color correct. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the new scene. I'm going to create a polygon plane. And if we sign a tune shader to that. And just before continue, just make sure under the filter, change the filter type to contour so that we can render the two edges. And I'm going to reduce the camera A to zero so we get more of a retro pixelated look. Start off a render in the viewport. We won't see anything at the moment because the edge color is black, so we just change that for white for now. So under the shading group for the tune shader, I'm going to connect a shader there. It can create a noise shader. Um, or in this case of using a cloud shader, I found that works quite well. Then we need to increase the subdivisions. So under the Arnold attributes of the plane, go choose the type to cat clock and increase them to something like six. And then under the tune shader, just reduce the angle threshold. So maybe quite low, something like one and change the normal type to geometric normal. We could change the displacement scale to reduce the effect. You notice we're getting some uh, clipping here. If you increase the balance padding of the displacement, so one, that should, that should fix that. Always go into the cloud settings and play around some of these values as well. Uh, increase the center threshold and transversity range. Okay, so that's the displacement. Let's focus on the color. So under the Toon Shader Edge Color, just create a color correct. So we can adjust the colors. And in the input to the color correct, I want color jitter shader. It's just the color of the face per face. And then to that, connect a utility shader. Get a normal color. Okay, so we'll start off with the utility, change that to flat because it's a pure color, and the color mode to something like normal or geometric normal. You have a play with different uh, uh, color modes, you just experiment. I'm, I'm going to stick with normal for, for now. And then another color just to change the type to face, and uh, we've got face ID here, so now when we adjust the Humax. Adjusting the colors per face. And then color correct, we can adjust the hue shift. Just gonna increase the camera hue shift saturation, something like that. So if the utility was on UV coordinates, could uh, Use the shift to cycle through the colors, get some interesting effects. I'm going to stick with normal for now. Okay, so I'm going to create, select the perspective camera, control D, and then rename that to render cam. And under the Arnold attributes, let's change the camera type from perspective to orthographic. Just middle drag that from the outliner into the viewport so I get something more orthographic looking. Okay, so now we just need to keyframe the position of the place 3D texture. We've got our animated effect. We can also keyframe the angle threshold, so it kind of materializes like so. Let's go back to the plane and under the subdivision. It's too tessellated to go to subdivisions and produce the number of iterations. or change the color mode, something interesting. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching and bye for now.